going on guys so here is the new inboard kit for the k5 um i went to see my buddy josh who owns arm brewster industries off-road and he helped me set this up because i wanted to make sure that uh everything was correct so i could get the most amount of flex out of the rear end and he did a great job um, took him about <clears throat> About three hours. <clears throat> the kit that I got from from Nix, um, I thought I read on DIY 4X that the kit was for a K5 or a K10. Well, it didn't really fit on my truck like it would have, or like it did fit on his truck. So they had to do just some slight modifications to it to make it fit correctly. But he got it set up um, in the best possible position. So now I can pull the pins on my revolver shackles and I'll still have some shock left, even at full droop. So I think it turned out pretty good. Got the front shocks installed. Um, here's a shot of the old shock setup and you can see how bad it was. And the only reason it's so bad is because when we put the 14 bolt on, the mounting position on the axle for the shock was just not in the in the right spot so it's kind of angled out i guess you can see that shock is bent but it was only a temporary thing anyways i knew i was going to do this all along anyways hope you guys are all having a good day just wanted to show you what's going on with this thing and uh on to the next project hope everyone's having a good day and i'll talk to you guys soon thanks it's ever all your fears eternal darkness is falling this blood will never clear Running the ruins among the fallen ones. Rise of the dwelling rotten, the dwelling rotten.